It's Wednesday, April 19th, 2023, and this is a TV24 News Break. I'm Courtney Lynham. And I'm Lacey Klontz. Jacksonville State University is expanding. New details emerge in the case of a mass shooting in one Alabama town and local high school students raise money for a creative and technical competition. Construction is officially underway at Jacksonville State University. This week, the university held a groundbreaking ceremony to begin building three projects, a residence hall, a dining hall, and a new athletic building for football. President Don Killingsworth spoke at the event. He said, quote, our students need places to live, enjoy their meals, and take part in campus life, end quote. The development comes as the university experiences increased growth. This fall, the university reported 9,633 students were enrolled at JSU, a number that exceeds all previous enrollment counts, but falls short of its once touted goal of enrolling 10,000 students. According to the University, the Residence Hall and North Village Residence Hall will add 513 beds to campus. The Dining Hall, Jack State Dining Hall, will repra replace the 62-year-old Jack Hopper Dining Hall as the main dining hall. And the Athletic Building, the Loring and Debbie White Football Complex, will repra replace the Fieldhouse at JSU Stadium. Demolition for the project was conducted before the groundbreaking. Police examining a mass shooting in Dadeville made two arrests in the case and revealed more information about evidence at the crime scene. Two Tuskegee teens, Tyreek McCullough, 17, and Travis McCullough, 16, were each charged with four counts of reckless murder. A statement provided by the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency this week states that investigators did not find high power rifle ammunition at the scene. Rather, the statement said investigators discovered shell casings used in handguns. The state law enforcement agency reported Tuesday that 32 people were injured and four died in the shooting. An earlier report from officials stated 28 people were injured. The shooting occurred Saturday at a birthday party inside an event venue located in an old bank in downtown Dadeville, a small city located about 25 miles northwest of Auburn. The incident is being investigated by the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency, the Dadeville Police Department, Tallapoosa County Sheriff's Office, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, the Federal Bureau of Investigations, and the Fifth Circuit District Attorney's Office. Oxford High School students hosted a film festival Tuesday at the Oxford Performing Arts Center. The Oxford High School Jacket Media Program hosted the event, which raised money to help the team pay for a state competition they will attend in Mobile next week. Program coordinator Candace Finley said the event allowed students to showcase work in the Oxford High School TV production program. There were a series of short announcements, skits, and one film produced by film production students. Clear skies and warm temperatures will return Thursday. A forecast from the National Weather Service calls for cloudless skies and for highs in the mid-80s, continuing a warm and sunny trend area that residents have experienced this week. Courtney, what do you think about this beautiful weather we are having? It is finally spring. It is finally. I am ready for the <laughs> sunshine and the warm weather, and it's just in time for Talladega race this weekend. Yes, it is. Yes. So we're really excited. We have someone from Talladega City coming in tomorrow to talk with us about the Talladega Walk of Fame and the upcoming race. Wow, yeah. that is going to be so much fun. Now, are you a big NASCAR fan? I think so. I mean, living in this area, I'm definitely learning more about NASCAR, and I'm looking forward to learning more I mean, about you. You have to be a NASCAR fan here. <laughs> I mean, I'm race, race weekend is a national holiday in it Alabama, sure right? <laughs> That's right. Well, this has been a TV24 News Break.